everyone, welcome to Living It Country. Today we're gonna be installing some more DIY rustic wood beams. You are gonna hear the kids because as of this week, um, our little boy has not been taking naps till five o'clock at night. Uh, it's been crazy. I'm sure everybody else's lives have been a little, you know, a little bit different than usual. So I hope everybody's staying healthy out there. I hope everybody is happy, enjoying time at home getting things done and enjoying just family time. Um, so today we're gonna be doing DIY rustic wood beams. I'm gonna share a more in-depth process of how my husband is doing this in our entryway from our front door into our living room and then our front door to our playroom. So we accomplished the one in the kitchen area and so we're gonna do all of the entryways and then you know we're gonna do the living room ceilings. So it's a process and we're trying to do it as affordable as possible. So instead of just doing all the wood beams at once, we have to do it slowly to stay on a budget. Uh, but we also want to share this process with you guys because we love sharing the process of how we're making our DIY home, our house, our house at home, right? <laughs> so today I'll be sharing with you guys that process and I'm really excited. Today's video is a collaboration with my friend Brandy from Eternal Harvest Decor. And Brandy is the queen of DIY projects and woodworking. She does DIY wall makeovers, she does DIY closets, and even DIY tables. So if you're looking for a DIY project to accomplish in your home during this quarantine time, I highly recommend checking out her YouTube channel in the description box below so you guys can find a really, really fun DIY project to accomplish. Now, today we are gonna be doing DIY beams and I'm excited. My hubby's taken over this project, but I'm gonna be filming the process and I'm really excited to take you guys along with this more detailed process. We did do this a few weeks ago. I will link it in the card section right above here so you guys can see more in depth um, during this video, but you're gonna see more of like the staining process and stuff in the other video. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this video is not sponsored, but I did wanna share with you guys a company that I purchased a four pack from, and I found this company from a Instagrammer, and she shared an awesome deal, and I have that link down below in the description box, but it was to get a four pack of energy bars, all natural, and they're made with green tea, gluten-free, dairy-free, and you could get this four pack for absolutely free and you just pay 95 cents for shipping, which is awesome because I believe the bars go for like $1.50 each when you buy it in a 12 pack, around that price, I believe. So my favorite, whew, you guys know, because if you follow me on Instagram, I've talked about it quite a few times, but is their salted peanut butter bars and I eat these now every day and I saved it for after my lunch to make sure that I eat my lunch but I'm going to eat mine. These are 90 calories, they're gluten-free, they're dairy-free, and they're made with green tea extract, so it's not gonna get you all jittery. I actually don't drink um, normal coffee, I only drink decaf because normal coffee gets me really, really jittery. So this does not give me the jitters, and you guys could get a four pack for 95 cents in the links down below, just in case you guys wanna try it. So one thing I love that Verb Energy Bars is doing is they're actually on a mission to donate 500,000 of their energy bars to healthcare workers, nurses, and doctors. And I believe that they've accomplished 100,000 people that they've given bars to, which is absolutely awesome. And I'm all for supporting that. So I've got a link down below if you guys want to try the trial pack. And I also have a link down below if you guys want to just buy a 12 pack or um, even donate. We're gonna go ahead and head over to the kitchen. I'm gonna share with you guys quickly the other three flavors. Then we're gonna go ahead to the garage. Okay, so I just emptied this bag out. This is where I'm storing all of my energy bars right now. This is the 12 pack bag. Um, but when you get your trial kit, you get obviously the solid, uh, salted peanut butter. You get the Simply Cocoa. You get the coconut chai. And then you also get the maple blueberry. And I've tried all of these before, um, but this is my second sample pack. And um, yeah, you can get this for 95 cents. Here comes hubby with another piece of wood. We're gonna go into the playroom and check out what he's doing. 
this is the entryway that we're doing to the playroom. That's where I am right now. So what have you done so far, babe? It's just everything. Everything. That answers that. This is what it's looking like from this angle. It's going to be a little bit smaller of a beam than this one over there. No, it's the same. Oh, sorry. It is the same. You decided to do the same? The height's going to be the same, but the thickness is going to look different. That's what I meant when I said that. So these are the pieces that Jason's cut so far and on one edge to each of the one by eights, he did a 45 degree angle, as you guys can see right there. And then in this middle piece right here, he curved it. We do have um, curved drywall, which ended up being such a mistake. We thought it was gonna be an awesome kind of like safety thing with the kids. Um, without having, you know, their heads bumped into a straight hammer, right? Um, but it ended up being really, really difficult for DIY projects along the way. I really had no intentions of ever doing shiplap or anything like that in the house. Um, I just really wasn't thinking. And so I, I kind of made it a little difficult that way. So he curved these out. And obviously it'll be night and day different if your walls are different. So Jason's taking some wood glue to the wood. Babe, can you explain to everybody what you're doing? So what I've seen other guys do is they cut them at 45s like what I did now. I didn't do this on the last beam, which is a lot easier not to cut them at 40s. And then glue them and then you just kind of box together with the tape, which I don't think I have the right to either. And then we'll nail it. But this is home. home. Homeowner grade is what I'm trying to say. Homeowner grade. Let's see if it works. If you ever need a helper, hey, you should know that I'll be there day and night. Nobody else can love you better. I'm here just to treat you right. You're the reason I'm alive. You're the only pain I can endure. And when you're not here, you're my dream, but I just want it. Okay, so Jason has everything glued together, clamped, and he has nail blended together. So we're just kind of letting that dry. So there's a few things that Jason does to accomplish uh, chopping the wood, as he would like to call it. The nails out. And next, he has a couple of different things that he does to chop up the wood. Rough it up. Rough it up. And he'll show that in just a We have a little artist. Hi, Bo. Oh, look at Mm -hmm. I like your painting. Hey, Mama. Oh, wow, that looks very nice. Okay, mm -hmm. Mr. Amber, what are you doing? So, we have our planer right now. I'm setting it to a little bit bigger of a depth, and then I'm just going to randomly go. <laughs> and kind of the goal is to get as much of. I'll go a little less, actually. Let's go that. And the goal is to basically get as much of that smoothness out and try to make it more rustic and stuff. So 
So we're gonna take the planer over it first and we'll take it over our edges, our sharp edges, and that will kind of round it off at least a little bit for sure. Um, so we'll just do all three sides in the corners and call it good. Awesome, here we go. I take it over a little bit shallow depth and then I just went back through and did a little bit deeper depth that way it gives me different contrast for different heights and stuff like that can you see that okay in the video yeah so all the little nail holes I'll go back through and fill all that in as well as the cracks That I knew from the start, you my bunny, I'm your clock From now to eternity, I give you all my heart We are meant to be, it's clear to see My love is bigger than I thought I got everything I want when I hold you with my arm Now there's no matter, my love and my pleasure The key to my treasure, whatever's was the weather Day up and night with you till I die How many times for you on my truck? Want you to notice the one and I know this Perfect soulmate, I wanna show it my best friend She saved my life, my happy end in hard times <laughs> So Jason just used his nail gun to attach the beam just so that he could get extra extra security on the wall. He's screwing it in and he's making making sure it goes into the studs. I'll show you guys a glimpse this way. What a difference that makes. Looks even better in person.